Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. We are going to play Soccer Band, the RPG, or at least start it today. Uh, this is a Mike Astro's um, puzzle RPG game, and he was kind enough to um, lend, lend me, give me, <laughs> give me a key, and said, so, you know, I check it out, and hopefully uh, we'll enjoy it. So. We're going to jump right into here to a brand new game. I don't know anything about the game really, other than it's based on kind of like a, a pushing puzzle kind of mechanic and an RPG kind of style. So, um, what? Where am I? Why are the lights suddenly off? This this can't be real. The last thing I remember is that I that I am I dreaming? I don't remember. Isn't that a sign that you are dreaming? I think I read that somewhere. Well, I guess there is only one way to find out. Ouch! I pinched myself and it actually hurt. This might not be a dream after all. What is this place? How did I get here? Ah, it's so dark. I can't see a thing. I need to find a light first. After that, I can look for a way out. This bizarre place. Moving arrow keys. Okay. Um, open menu is the X button. Action is space. Running is shift. Beds can be used to save your progress. No, furthermore, note that WASD keys all control specific features that will help you progress through the puzzles. W undoes the last push to rewind time, just until just before the last push. Uh, try again is A. Try to, uh, sorry, I'm reading my head. S, should the solution really lose you, you can skip the end of that puzzle. Uh, D is solve. Solve skip can be used to solve puzzle previously skipped puzzles. Using this successfully allows you to skip to a new puzzle. All right. Near every riddle, there is a chest containing hints you could check out when you get stuck. The number of hints you use is kept track of, but it doesn't affect the story in any way. Also, this is the work of fiction. Names, characters, and events all are products of my imagination. Any resemblance of actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. These instructions can be read again by accessing the instructions items you have in your inventory. All right, so arrow keys was moved, right? The door is locked. Space is action. Oh, okay, let's just everything again. Alright, so can I... This will do. Just, what is this place? Door is locked. There's another cell on the other side. Might there be somebody who can help me? Hello? Anyone? Hello, is anyone there? It's a snake. Snake! Oh my, you have no idea how relieved I am to see another soul here. For a second I thought I was doomed. How long have you been here? Have you found have you found a way out yet? Do you know why we are here? And where is here? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I don't know the answer to any of your questions. I woke up here minutes ago myself, see? I have no idea what is going on. Oh, me neither. Yeah, I figured. What's your name? My name is Lewis. Uh I can't remember my last name. You? My name is Tom. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same, I guess. What happened to your eye? I don't know. When I woke up, my eye was already this badly hurt. I don't know who treated the wound, but it still pretty hurts. It looks painful. Trust me, it is. I found this note. A note? What does it say? Something about the situation? About where we are? I'm afraid not. It only reads the following. Black numbers are correct, while whites are only half. From six figures, you may choose. Please note that. Right. Black numbers are correct, while whites are only half. So any white number, it's actually half of the value it should be. From six figures, you may choose. Please note that. One, two, three, four has two blacks and one white. Oh my goodness. Two blacks, one white. Ah. Uh... Jeez. So one is a black. One has to be a black. No, sorry. Four could be a black. Oh my goodness. This is like already way above my head. We're not even started. Uh, uh, one, four, five, six is one black and one white. Um... Don't know how loud the music is. Let me turn down a touch. Um, 
Do you have a safe with a code lock somewhere in your cell? I have a chest here, but it doesn't have a fancy lock like that. Yeah, there's one in the back. Hmm, let me think about this. Have you any success so far? No, none at all. I think white only half refers to the number being part of the desired code, but not in the right place, whereas black means it's exactly right. Ah, okay. Hey, you may be right. That's pretty clever. Hmm, thanks. Let me think about it a little longer. It's clear that in order to escape this madness, I have to solve this stupid riddle. Well, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Alright, so I need the numbers, right? Okay, so... So black is in the right order. White is right number but wrong order. So one I think the numbers are one, two, three, four. Jeez, I, I need a freaking pen and paper here. We're literally like five minutes in and I'm already freaking like, ooh. <laughs> That's not good, is it? All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, which is two and one. I'm going to put. Then we've got one, four, five, six, which is one and one. One, two, four, five, which is one black and two white interesting that you've um switched around the like the description of the blacks and the whites there trying to throw people off five four three six nothing is in the right order but we have three whites all right so i'm going to um work on this off camera and i'll be back momentarily okay so i'm working on this puzzle to this fantastic soundtrack because I do like the uh, music Mike Astro has um, created and it doesn't really make sense right so I've looked through and I've identified from the first number that one and four are in the same right positions okay because the only time we have at least one black in everything apart from the last one and one is in the same position every time so I look at the first and second one one hasn't changed, but we still have a black. We have extra numbers, so I presume the one is, is correct, okay? I also think the four is correct for the simple fact that... Oh, no, let me, let me go to the drawing board. All right, so the, the one that's throwing me off right now is the last one, because the first one says we have two blacks, one white, so that means Three of those numbers got to be right. Okay. So, three of the four numbers have got to be one, two, three, or four. So then, the next one underneath says we has one black and one white. So this is where I was going from. One has to be at the start, and then four is our other number, because it's the only one that we have above that isn't different. Although, four could be the missing number... And then it could be five or six. Two, five. All right, so let's, let's assume it's five, okay? So first one is we use one, two, and three. The second one, we use one, one and five, because then we've already excluded four. So the next one is one, two, and five. But then the last one doesn't make sense. Three whites. Well, that leaves me with only one number. Which is confusing. So then I thought we dropped the two. So then we have... We dropped the two. So the first one is one, three, four. The second one, one black and one white. Well, we've got to use a five or a six because we dropped that. So... 
that doesn't make sense either. So, I'm a little bit confused. I, I don't... So yeah, it's, um, I'm a little bit miffed. Black numbers are correct. Well, whites are only half. From six figures you may choose, please note. See, I was going for one and four in the right place on the first number. Which would then, by the rules of the second one, would exclude five and six. But... then that doesn't work for the bottom one. I'm going to take a hint because I honestly I don't know. The second clue tells you only two of the four numbers in that sequence are also in the desired code. Hence, the second code also contains both numbers that are not in the desired code. Yes. This implies that, that the two numbers that do not appear in the second sequence must be part of the desired code. Hence, two and three are part of the code. All right, so two and three are part of the code. Then what's... I don't... I don't... How, how does that work? Because... Two blacks and one white. Well... Well, if two, if, if that's right, if, right, but so by... So it's got to be two, three, six. All right, so I'm guessing it's going to be four, two, three, six. That doesn't, that doesn't work for the third one. This is the first puzzle of the game. Jeez, honestly, this is, this is like torture. You're saying two and three is, is definite, right? Two, three, four, five. But maybe it's the two and the four that are in the right places. Two and four. Three, five, two, four, maybe. All right, let's try that. Three, five, two, four. It's the only thing I can think, but wow, for an opening puzzle, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All 
It didn't work. Maybe you made a mistake. Oh, shit. Hold on, let me go read the hint again. Read the hint again. Second clue tells you only two of the four numbers in that sequence are also in the desired code. Hence, the second code also contains both numbers that are not in the desired code. Yeah, okay. This implies that the two numbers that do not appear in the second sequence must be part of the desired code. So two and three are part of the code. But then what out of one, four, five, and six? What out of those ones? So I know two doesn't go there, so three has got to go second position, right? No. See, this might. So it can't be one, two. Two, it's got to go second position. I'm sure of that. Two. Three can't go there. So in the top, no, three can't go in the third position. So out of the top, um, out of the top one, two is in the right place. Then which of the other numbers is included? It's got to be four. It has to be four. But the reason I didn't do five, two, three, four. is because five and three are in the right positions in the last number and they're saying that they're all everything in that is not in the right order so is it six Three, two, six, four, maybe. But no, it, it can't be six because by, by the logic of the third one, it has to be two, four, five. together in the middle. What about four, two, three, five. No, again that breaks the second one because then one, two, four, five has two of them in the right place. Five, two, three, can't have five at the start. Jeez. Holy cow. I'll take another hint. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> yeah, one and four can't be in the code. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that can't contain one and four. So one, two, four, five. So yeah, we've, it is a five. So it's two, three, five. But two, three, five. So what's the... So we've got two, three, five. I think one. No, it's got to be four. Two, three, four, five. Based on two, three, four, five. Take off the one. So maybe the five is the third digit. Five is the third. I think it's two and five in the middle. And then we've got three and... Three and four. Either side. So three, two, five, four. Well, that's what I had before. Which was apparently wrong. One, two, four, five. There's two whites and a black. So I was saying that the four, the two is the right place. Four and five are the wrong way around. The one is omitted. Three whites in that. Five, four, three, six. Yep. Five, four, three. None of them are in them positions. Uh, two blacks and one white and one, two, three, four. Two and four in the right positions. Three isn't. One black and one white. Five is right. Four is wrong. So, yeah. Three, two, five, four, follows, to me, follows all the thing. I'm sure that's what I tried before, but... Oh, no. All right, so... Okay, so here's my problem. I got this written down, uh, somewhere around here, that I've been working on, right there. And it seems that I misread what I wrote down before. So I could save myself a whole lot of hurt before... Um, by solving this myself, if I'd have only paid attention to the right combination. I put 3524, but I actually read 3254, and I got that written twice. What a dumbass, Nog. What a dumbass. You're right. You're a genius. I found two keys. Here, take one. Tom gave you a rusty key. Thanks for your help, Lewis. I will get going now. I'm so done with this twisted experiment thing. Tom, wait! Snake! Oh, sorry, Tom. Wrong game. He's gone. I better get going too, then. All right, so it's X for inventory. Uh, oh, let's see if the key works. Turn the key and the lock opened. All right. Fantastic. Well, unfortunately, because I spent so much time messing around on that, that is going to bring us to the end of the first episode here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, leave your general feedback of uh, your thoughts on the first puzzle. Um, hopefully, I'll be a bit more clear-minded in the second, and um, I won't be, um, you know, messing around so much. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.